Hi gay, my name is Dan. Welcome to the world of extra. So right now I am in Shinjuku Kabukicho. Apparently this is the most dangerous place in Japan, but even that is safer compared to everywhere else I've been in the world. Shinjuku Kabukicho is the red light district. Apparently, allegedly, people sell drugs here. And apparently there's a lot of prostitution here. And if you're not careful, people will come up to you and try to drag you into their club. So be careful. There's just a lot of sketchy stores disguised as something, but they're not exactly what you think they are. There's also a lot of host clubs here. Now, if you guys don't know what host clubs are, basically it's a bunch of young men trying to please and trying to entertain really lonely women. Or men. It literally says here how much they've earned from hosting. That is more than 10 million yen. If you guys want me to go to a host club in the future, let me know in the comments down below. But that's not what we're trying to do today. So basically, what we're doing today is we are going to go to a gay love hotel. I literally never wear backpacks, but today I packed my shit because I want to go there overnight. I'm gonna be honest, I've been to a love hotel a few times in my life, but I've never been to like a proper luxurious one. And today we are going to do exactly that. But it's gonna be awkward if I go alone, so I hope someone comes up to me. There's a lot of people and a lot of people are looking at me and I'm honestly just gonna wait for someone to come. Kenzo Martini? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Hi! Hi gay! So if you guys didn't know who this is, you guys probably never watched this video. Hi guys, I'm Kenzo. I'm his escort for tonight. <laughs> so a lot of you guys have been begging me to have another video with Kenzo since our last video together. And what better video to do than go to a love hotel together? We're bros! Yeah! Hi. Hi. Have you been to a love hotel before? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, we're getting a little bit off track, so let's go buy some dinner and go to the love hotel. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> basically, the difference between a love hotel and a regular hotel is basically for a love hotel, it's designed to, you know, como se dice, have sex. For love hotels, there are usually two prices. There's a rest price and a stay price. A rest price is usually a three hour price and a stay price is an overnight price. Usually check-in starts from 10 p.m. a little bit later because that's when people like to, you know, get spicy. And then check-out is usually 10 a.m. I know some tourists who came to Japan actually that purposefully stayed at love hotels instead of regular hotels because sometimes love hotels are way cheaper than regular hotels. Have you ever stayed at a love hotel without having... No. Same. <laughs> a normal hotel in Japan could run you up to somewhere around 17,000 yen, which is about $170 for two people. But love hotels are generally way cheaper. Cheap ones for a whole night could be about, you know, $60. And luxurious one could be anywhere from $100 to $200. <laughs> this is an example of a luxurious love hotel. Although very bougie from the outside, most love hotels are very discreet that you don't even have to face anyone to check in most of the time. You can select what type of room you want, pay, and then go to your room and have some sexy time. We're going to Balian Hotel and Resort. This is one of the luxury love hotels. They have a lot of amenities. Are you excited? Yes. Please. They have karaoke, they have a sauna, they have massage chairs, they have free drinks, they, they have, have like, free food, free bread, billiards, desserts. Desserts? Free desserts. Free desserts. Drink bar. Free. Yeah. But I'm really health conscious. I'm gonna go get a salad from Family Mart first. So right now, we're gonna go grab some desserts. Get one of each. Two, maybe two. Or just yeah. One. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, are we okay? They're laughing. They're laughing. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm in Bali. Yeah, I feel like I'm in Bali. <laughs> okay, ready? Go. Okay, should I go in? Go. Okay.
What's in the closet? Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, I'm so excited for the view. <laughs> I think because this is a love hotel, for privacy reasons, they don't have like clear windows. They have room service, but we spent all our money on the room, so we just got convenience or food instead. And all the free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they have a microwave. I think that's why we're friends. They literally have a massage chair in the room. Let's try it out. I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep on this chair tonight. Bitch. Start. Ouch. I think one of the good things about staying at a love hotel is you're allowed to make as much noise as you want. I think some people think just because it's a love hotel, it's gonna be very dirty, it's gonna be run down, and everything's just about sex and stuff. But honestly, this place isn't like that. I've been to like a budget love hotel. I think it was about like 3,000 yen for two hours or something. And that one was... But that one was really small. There was just a bed and a bathroom. It was like a one-person apartment. But this place is like really nice. It's like an actual hotel room. I'm gonna brush my teeth for a little bit. <laughs> Literally, you'll feel like you're in a vacation. Yeah. And the bathtub is also really big. So yeah. it's very... For sex. Jip, jip, jip. When you slide it. Bitch, you walk so loud. We're gonna play some darts! I think this isn't just like a love hotel. This is more like a relationship hotel. <laughs> <laughs> like they literally have a lot of date activities like darts and billiards. Two players. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, you suck. <laughs> oh my god, you're so Anyway guys, this love hotel had a lot of amenities. Honestly, way more than a regular hotel. It actually took us a couple of hours to do everything. Here you can see there is a spa, and they had a bunch of floors for different activities. Are you really on vacation with your friends if you don't get lost? They had this room where it's supposed to look like you're in Bali. This was the expectation. And this is what we fucking got, because all the projectors were fucked up. I don't know if this is just me, but it would've been a cool experience for the projectors to be projecting actual beaches in Bali instead of the Bali and hotel logo. Fuck! That's homophobic! Whoa! Anyway, there were free drink bars in almost every corner of the hotel. So we had some Shrek piss before we continued with our night. We played some mini golf. Oh my god. We played some table tennis. Had some cheap ass wine. And we sang our hearts out in the karaoke room. Oh my god, they literally even have free bread. And a toaster. And they have your sex suit. <laughs> we're gonna do the foot bath. Let's get a towel. That's good. That feels good. <laughs> Ow. Ow, it's so hot. Bitch, you're hurting my gumas. So hot. It's so nice. It's such a nice fit. Relax. Yeah. But that bubble bath is better. Yeah. <laughs> Another one? Okay, so gonna... You can't have enough. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Param, param. If you guys are wondering if we're actually naked, yes, we're actually naked. Oh my god. You know what? This is a normal thing to do. It's actually Japan. a normal thing to do in Japan to be butt naked. If you guys watch this video where we went to an onsen, it's actually normal. No, literally, like, group of friends, they go to onsen. Yeah. You promise me we're gonna be best friends forever? We're gonna be best friends forever. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. <laughs> <laughs> but I never went to onsen with my Japanese friends. Really? Because I'm shy. I'm more shy naked around my friends than naked around strangers. I would rather be naked around strangers yeah, than same, my friends. Same, 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 same. Yeah. yeah, going with like complete really? strangers. Yeah. yeah. Don't ever fucking play with me. Y'all niggas know y'all Himalayan salt. I don't like Nilaga. 
<laughs> let's, let's have salt in the soup. <laughs> she really like scrub it on her body. Oh my god, look, that's so, that looks so cool. Oh yeah. You're like, you're like. No homo, no homo, no homo. Here bro, that's so gay. <laughs> okay, let's take a shot. <laughs> we are going to take a shot, but we don't want to drink alcohol, so we're gonna have a shot of strawberry shortcake. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, there's a dim light moment. Why oh. are you so big? Look at my outfit, you guys. I look like a fucking cockroach. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, the <laughs> There is a condom in here. Use protection. What time is that? 2.30. 2.30 a.m. We did so much today. We're so tired. I think last thing on the agenda is go to Tibet. Okay, guys, this is basically what a love hotel is. We're just gonna watch a movie. I think we're gonna watch Dora the Explorer live action. So this is like a really good like staycation vibes. It's not just for YouTube, but just like in general. We were able to catch up a lot when we were in the fucking bathtub. <laughs> we were there for like two hours, I think. Right. Just like talking. Oh this week's shout out goes to... Thank you so much for always loving and supporting everything I do. If you guys want a shout out on my next video, please leave the love hotel emoji because there's actually a love hotel yeah. emoji. If you guys want to follow me on my daily life, please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at World of Extra. You can also follow him at Kenzo Martini with three eyes. <laughs> and he also does YouTube, so... Also, I'm launching my clothing brand soon by Extra, so please click the link in my description down below as well. Bye! Bye.